hello and welcome in today's video we bring to you top box 960 this is a two-story luxury shipping container house designed using three 40-foot shipping containers in this video we'll cover a complete presentation of 3d floor plans of the design We'll also present to you full color pictures of both the exterior and the interior design of the house. We will also give you a cost estimate checklist to guide you on your own shipping container house project. If you love shipping container homes, then stick around for more. Good, welcome back. So, without further ado, let's delve right into it. So, when you look at the design concept, in this design, we've used three 40 foot shipping containers to create over 1,000 square feet of habitable space. The three 40 foot shipping containers are stacked on the first floor level on top of a concrete foundation. To create a two-storied house with a dynamic form. The containers on top are sheared horizontally to one side to create a cantilever on steel stanchions on the ground floor level and a family rooftop terrace on the top level. This four-bedroom luxury shipping container house ingeniously accommodates the following salient features. From the entrance porch, which falls under the cantilever above, you get into a 9 meter long gallery. This is a nice outdoor space to supplement the functions of the house on that level. You can also use it to display several types and forms of art along the wall. This is also a transition space and a circulation space where we have the staircase to access the first floor level of the house. Alternatively, you can drive in into the garage that can accommodate two cars. We also have a full laundry for the house on that particular level and we also have a self-contained guest bedroom with adequate wardrobe storage. In addition, we have a general store for the house on that particular level too. When you take the staircase to the first floor level, you land into the, an open plan living space that accommodates a cozy, spacious lounge area, a nice dining space that can sit up to six, on the extreme end of this open plan living room, we also have a kitchen with adequate overhead storage and under the counter storage respectively. The space is well lit and well ventilated using full height sliding glass doors that were installed to replace the original container cargo doors that were removed. On the same level, we have a full bathroom, which is a common bathroom shared between two more bedrooms. And on the extreme end of the arrangement, we have a master suite with a walk-in closet and a full bathroom with an enclosed shower cubicle. On this level, from the living room, and the master bedroom respectively, you are able to access a 12 meter long outdoor terrace that complements the outdoor living functions of this house. Similarly, we have a nice balcony fronting the main house that is accessible directly from the living room or the dining space through the sliding glass doors. 
When it comes to the foundation, you basically have the three shipping containers on the first floor level sitting on a concrete foundation which also forms the ground floor level of the house. The ground floor level basically accommodates the utility functions of the house. If you want to learn more about types of foundations you can use on a shipping container home or project, feel free to check out our previous video through the link in the, in the description below. When it comes to structure and modifications, you've retained the containers in the original form as much as possible, save for the open plan living space and the master bedroom where internal walls were removed and therefore additional steel reinforcement is required to maintain the structural integrity of the shipping containers. On the interior design, we've tried to make the space look as modern and luxury as possible. In terms of finishes, we prefer using light colored finishes. You can also try out uh, transformative furniture that can allow you to use the spaces for multiple functions at different times of the day. Since this is a shipping container house, you also need to provide adequate insulation. Yeah, so depending on the region where you intend to build it, you need to observe the climate of your region. If you live in the tropics, you need to keep away heat from your shipping container as much as possible. And if you live in the cold climates, use an insulation material that has got good moisture barrier properties and good R values. Check out our previous video on the top eight insulation and temperature control strategies for shipping container homes. You've also given you a cost estimate checklist to guide you on your own shipping container project. So go through it and pick out the items that are applicable to your own shipping container project. If you love shipping container homes or you are planning on building one, our YouTube channel is a one-stop shop for a complete guide on how to design, how to build, how to insulate, and a collection of hundreds of blueprints for container homes designs. In addition, we also cover case studies of the best homes made from shipping containers from around the world. For this and more, feel free to subscribe and remember to click on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing weekly videos. You can also contact us on our website sheltermode.com or follow us on social media platforms through the links in the description. Mm -hmm.